I want to very warmly welcome this bill and, and thank Senator Owen and the Civil Engagement Group for, for bringing this, this bill forward. Um, the Labour Party is very happy to support this bill and I suppose we've spoken a lot in recent years about believing and listening to and supporting women but of course that talk is hollow uh, unless we actually act and legislate to fight harassment and abuse with the powers available to us as, as legislators. And I was struck when, 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 when thinking about this bill during the week um, about the, the lack of information that we have about non-disclosure agreements, of course, in this country. And of course, by definition, um, there, there is no uh, register or data available. And, and I want to commend Senator Owen on, of course, the bill itself, but also in terms of promoting awareness around the use of non-disclosure agreements because I think in some ways you know we are using the phrase non-disclosure agreements here but of course to, to many of those who have been forced to sign them they don't know what they're signing other, other than they know that it's a tool of silence um, so that they will never um, so that the wrong that was initially perpetrated against them is reinforced again by ensuring they never talk up. Uh, I, I, and so, um, so I, I, I really want to commend the efforts in terms of the online surveys and public events to, to raise that, that general awareness. I suppose in essence what this bill seeks to do is to address that power imbalance in the worker-employer relationship. And as I said there, you know, it, it, in, in many cases it's reinforcing the initial wrong um, that was perpetrated against um, that worker. And in terms of, uh, I, I suppose, the, 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 the sectors and the workplaces, we know that uh, this uh, has taken place across almost every sector. I'm thinking of my own time um, working as an official in SIP2 uh, and some of the cases that we came to, to learn and understand of where there was an attempt um, to silence women in particular um, uh, because of what went on. And I'm also thinking more recently of the Irish traditional music scene where um, there has been a harrowing testimony of women uh, assaulted and discriminated against and of course um, they haven't necessarily been subjected to uh, having to sign non-disclosure agreements but I suppose it's that culture of secrecy and fear and the fear of what repercussions will follow um, if indeed people do talk up. So in, in, in that regard, this is very much a workers' rights um, bill and, and one that we're very proud to support. Uh, and I'm struck because the UK government announced plans to, announce, to, 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 to enact such a bill in 2019, but of course we've yet to see any progress in that. And, and indeed the Archbishop of Canterbury was urging members in the Church of England um, to cease the use of non-disclosure agreements uh, to try and cover up instances of racism um, within their own church hierarchy. So I think it's only through legislation, but indeed leadership as well amongst organisations. And, you know, I, I welcome what... What, what, what Senator Siri Carney spoke there about lawyers and the responsibilities um, that they have, uh, and particularly the Bar Council and the Law Society, to influence their members uh, in terms of the use um, of, of, of non-disclosure agreements. I suppose the last point I want to, to make is that I'm, I'm particularly um, heartened to see that this is an amendment to the Employment Equality Act 1998, rather than just a standalone bill. Um, uh, because this is uh, workplace harassment is an affront to employment equality and in 2019 the International Labour, Labour Organization, the ILO, um, actually devoted their, whole, their, their convention that year to harassment and violence in the workplace and they actually identified the use of non-disclosure agreements arising from the Me Too movement, but they, are, they, they identified non-disclosure agreements as one of the tools used and abused by employers to try and silence people within the workplace. And so I think, I think Senator Wan spoke earlier, or, indeed, or, or, or maybe it was Senator Higgins, about that Ireland could perhaps be one of the, the first countries um, to actually put legislation in place and I think that would be a, 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 a really positive and, and, and proud achievement if we were to do that um, because uh, we haven't seen uh, a legislative action take place in other countries but it's certainly something that is needed here uh, and I want to, to commend and support the Bill.